Hi everybody, I'm Kate Wells Joffrey and this is One Cup Monday, wit, wisdom, and advice for you in the time it takes me to drink a cup of coffee, or in this case, chai, which is spicy and seasonal and pleasant in its own way. And also I ran out of coffee and was too lazy to go get more. Fun day, right? So I had the hardest time getting up this morning. I'm pretty lucky because I don't have to get up really early, but I like to get up, you know, kind of early so I can get stuff done and do things before I have to go to work later in the day. We're like toddlers, aren't we, when we're trying to get up? It's just, no. Uh, what is on my, what's on my face? Where was I? Yeah, I couldn't get out of bed. So I hit the snooze multiple times and then I actually changed the time, the wake up time entirely for like a half an hour later. Then in that half an hour, I had the weirdest dream. It was one of those things where you're in a place that's sort of familiar, but not exactly. I was in the sort of like the spot and like my family was there and, um, but I was going to work or I had gone to work and I decided to take Brian with me for some reason. And then I realized that I still had a, the whole rest of the work day to go. So then I was like, I can't have Brian here. So I'm trying to get Brian back to my house so that I don't have to, worry about it and then what happens is that on my way there there was a track team so now the track team is like coming by and I'm like oh this is like a serious you know sporting event that I don't I don't want to interrupt so Brian is in a harness which he's never in a harness but he's so he's on a, on a leash but I'm like holding on to him and you know there's all these people running by and then all of a sudden these people just like one of them goes down so now it's like dominoes now all of the, the track runners now they're all pilot so this is like the clock is ticking because I have to get back to work so that I can you know get back on the desk and get back to work and I'm thinking to myself I'm gonna get in so much trouble when they find out that I brought Brian to work for no reason and now I'm gonna be late to work so then I just think to myself, why am I going this way home? This is stupid. And also I was going to a, what was in the dream, my parents' house, but looked nothing like it and was in no way the location at, at all. But anyway, so that was the, you know how that happens in dreams? There's the parameters that have been set up by the dream. So it's like, those are the rules of the dream. So your life in the dream, this is what goes on. So, okay. Uh, oh, so I'm just like, why am I going this way? I might as well just drive. Stupid dream, Kate. Of course you should have been driving, just drive. So I go back to this other place that was work slash somewhere else that wasn't really work, but it was kind of work and it was like a vacation hat. I don't know. So I go back there, can't find my keys. Of course. So now I have to put Brian down because now he's just like, you know, I put Brian down. Now I'm looking for my keys. I can't find him anywhere. Next thing I know, I find my car in the backyard with the entire grill pulled out and for some reason there's stuff coming out of it and like it's in the ground it was just like well yeah that's what you do i'm just like what the track runners meanwhile are still they're still going like now that they've like cleared up like the the pile they've like i don't know they they were just like you know the track meet is still going on so i'm thinking i still can't go that way my car is like this i can't find my keys i don't know what's going on now I'm like freaking out because I'm like, I'm gonna get in so much trouble. Like they're gonna kill me at work because I'm just not there yet. And I'm gonna have to explain all of this and I'm so late and I can't find my keys and I'm really stressed out. Now in the midst of all this, I almost forgot this part. In the midst of all this, I'm acutely aware that my pants are falling down. Cause for some reason I decided to wear drawstring pants to work and with all the running around, I'm trying to hold Brian and I'm looking for my keys and then the track and the, the people and you know, I'm back and forth and I just, for some reason, I just am acutely aware that like my pants are falling down and I'm talking to the guys about my car and they're just kind of like, they're standing behind me. So I'm like, oh God, they're like looking at my butt. I'm trying to sit here and figure out what's going on. And so that's adding to all of it even more. I mean, that was like the last thing I needed in this situation. All of a sudden I look and I realize the track is cleared. So I'm like, oh, I can finally go. So then I'm like, oh my God, I don't have Brian. I gotta go back and get, so I go back, I gotta get, Brian and I'm just like freaking out at people like where are my keys where's Brian and they're just like what's the big deal Brian can just stay here with us and I'm like why didn't you tell me that before no forget it now I gotta go and now and he's like behind like a I, I don't know it was kind of like a cheese dome you know like there's the wooden thing on the bottom and the cheese dome on the on the top so he's like sitting behind there so in my dream I see him and he's like you know his face is distorted because he's behind the I don't know why he's behind it. He's behind a cheese dome. Anyways, it doesn't matter. So I'm like, okay, let's go. And then all of a sudden, I 
I wake up sweating, breathing hard, under the covers, it's like Macy's on Black Friday, ladies pajamas, 25% off in the back. I'm just like, what happened? And then even more, I'm like, I'm exhausted. And then I'm thinking to myself, you know what? You hit snooze. You should have just gotten up the first time because none of this would have happened if you hadn't have hit snooze. Oh, there's a footnote to all of this that I think if I wasn't able to show it to you, you probably wouldn't believe it. I completely forgot I own a cheese dome. If you like this video, like it and subscribe to this channel for more One Cup Monday on Mondays, No Teleprompter, No Mercy on Wednesdays, and the day devoted to the anchor cat, Brian Williams, on Friday, known as Bri-Day. Of course, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and all of the things, and you'll find all of the links below. Until next time. Sweet dreams.